Hi, I'm Peter Sullivan. We're going to talk about cell phone safety and reducing your exposure to wireless radiation. So I want you to think about where you keep your phone. Uh, a lot of different choices. Pocket, front pocket, uh, some women keep it in their bra, keep it in a purse or a backpack. Uh, I used to keep it in my front pocket until about five years ago when I was at a, um, at a talk talking about cell phone radiation. And um, honestly, immediately after hearing some of the research, I immediately pulled it out and put it into airplane mode. So even when these things are not being used, they're still transmitting. Okay, so, and there's fine print in these phones. So if you search for the website, show me the fine print or show the fine print, uh, you'll find that phones like this need to be about five eighths of an inch away from your body, just to be under the FCC limit for thermal damage. So not even really legal to keep it in your pocket or compliant with the guidelines. And most people don't know that. So I started keeping this off in my pocket in airplane mode, but then of course you can't get a call. So how do you make this work? Um, so I then started keeping it in a backpack and giving myself a little bit more space. Distance is your friend. Every time you double the distance, the radiation level drops down 75%. Every time you have the distance you're coming half, the radiation level goes to up four times. Okay, so it really drops off dramatically. So the more distance you have, the more space you have, and that's safer. So a couple different choices. So keeping it right in your bra or right in your pocket is really a bad idea. So um, it's not even compliant with the most lax guidelines and the law. So a couple choices. If you really, really need to keep it in your pocket, um, there's a product like this called a block sock that has some shielding material on it. So you could put it in this and then in your pocket. Okay. Now, um, when, you make a, when you start using it to make a phone call, um, you don't do the whole next to your head thing. So that again is um, a huge concern. And again, you, don't, you can't even really touch it to your skin. Again, that's not even compliant with the federal law or the, the manufacturer's requirements. So you're not touching it to your body. So I tend to do speakerphone for quick calls, or obviously texting if you can. Speakerphone for quick calls. For longer calls, I'll use an AirTube headset. Now this is not a normal headset that you get with your phone. There is the speakers right down here, so there's no electronics above this section. So this is all just like a little air tube. So if I may need to make a long call, put it two or three feet away from me and speak on, speak on this for hours and not have a problem at all and not worry about uh, radiation exposure. You know, if you need to really keep this phone in your pocket, uh, you can go into airplane mode, flip it up, go into airplane mode, which I'm in now. Make sure your, your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are also turned off. So this is perfectly safe right now. And if I put it in my pocket, radiation is not going to be a problem at all. Of course, I'm not going to be getting phone calls either, but that's, that's an option. Okay, and so to summarize, those are my tips for using your phone safely, and it's primarily keeping it away from your body. Thanks for watching.